The Night Eyes runoff series is a variety of packing cubes and pouches designed to be completely waterproof using this true zip technology that has been invented by Night Eyes. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, where we use our expertise and real world experience to provide practical resources and honest opinions guiding you towards smarter travel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's jump in and take a look at all of these accessories, including the waterproof wallet, the waterproof pocket, the waterproof 311 pouch, the two different packing cubes we have going on here, as well as the toiletry bag. Let's jump in and check it out. Normally when we hear waterproof over here at Pack Hacker, we roll our eyes because most of the time it's companies saying that their bags, products, or pouches for that matter are made of waterproof materials. Although our definition of waterproof is something that is submergible. So think of something like a dry bag. It's very hard to achieve this with any product with a zipper on it. Although the Magpul DACA pouches come close because of the material that they're made out of as well as the YKK AquaGuard zipper. However, with the TrueZip technology here and all the Night Eyes products we have going on on the table here, every single one of these have been submerged, tested, and as long as you get the zipper sealed up right, no air comes in or out. It is rated, has a waterproof rating of down to one meter for 30 minutes as well. And although we haven't tested it for that long, we have tested every single one of these and it's held up well. Before we dive into all these products, let's talk a little bit about the zippers. So the true zips here, there are two different sizes. We have a four millimeter and a six millimeter. So far we've found the four millimeter to zip a little bit more smoothly compared to the six, especially when the six goes around these corners like we see in the dop kit and the packing cubes. They do a great job at locking in air. All these are pretty much completely sealed as long as you get that zipper positioned correctly. Each of these pieces is made with TPU and has an RF welded construction. So everything's sealed up pretty nicely and has a nice feel. It's sort of crunchy in your hands a little bit, but not in a bad way. Everything feels really sturdy and it feels robust enough to trust it. It has a trustworthy feel. Feel like you can pack these up and kind of submerge them and your gear is gonna be okay. Let's jump into all these pieces. Let us know which of these is your favorite and the one that you want the most, and we will be sure to review that based on popular vote. Probably the most fitting product here for Pack Hacker. Let's kick it off with the 311 pouch. This is an ample sized pouch designed to fit three ounce or 100 milliliter bottles in here quite nicely. Again, it just opens up with this true zip here. So we have these tabs on the corners. You can use these to carabiner a couple of these together. So you can use Night Eyes' as S beaner, that would work really well here. And then they're just nice tabs to have for the zipper pull as well. The great thing about using this for travel is that it will keep all the liquids inside of here even if they spill. Likewise, it will keep other liquids that you don't want inside on the outside. So it's nice protection there, especially for toiletries. The clear window here is passable for TSA and this is exactly one quart, which makes it ideal for airline carry-on travel. Even with all this gear inside of it, we've been testing with a lot of heavy tech gear, this bag has still floated. Because it has that extra space, it can hold a lot of air inside. There are also some slits on the backside here so you can attach this to your pack or your belt if you're really that cool. Next up, the smallest of the bunch, the waterproof wallet. This one closes and opens with that four millimeter true zip going on here. Just like the last, we have those clip attachment points at the edges that are also nice to grab onto. As far as calling it a wallet, we think that's a little bit of a stretch. There's no organization inside. It's basically just a giant pouch. Sure, it will keep your valuables inside dry. However, we have found that this smaller version is not quite as good at floating because there is no 3D-ness to it. So it does not hold a lot of air inside. And again, there is a single loop on the backside that can be used to attach to your pack or your belt, something like that. Next up, the waterproof pocket, which is basically the larger version of the wallet. So similar to the wallet, we have that point here to attach to your pack or your belt. And then these two tabs on the sides for a carabiner are just grabbing onto. Now there still isn't a ton of space inside like the 311 pouch, it's a little bit flatter. So that means it doesn't float quite as easily. 
However, it's nice because you can access your phone right through here and the touchscreen will still work. It takes a bit of getting used to because of this topographical texture going on here. However, your touchscreen is still accessible. Moving on to the toiletry bag, this thing is quite large. This one uses that larger six millimeter zipper, which is a little bit harder to zip and unzip, especially when it goes around the curved edges. One thing that we dig with these zippers is that you can kind of leave this thing halfway open, use the nylon loop here to hang it up in the bathroom, keep it off of any wet surfaces, and then kind of get access to everything inside of your dop kit here. And again, this dop kit is nice, so if any liquids spill inside, they won't escape and get all over your bag or luggage. One quick pro tip here is that if you want these to float or you want them to maintain their shape, you can kind of blow these up a little bit. So you just pull the zipper to be pretty much closed and then there you go, you can kind of just blow it up. There we go, it's blown up, it's gonna float a lot better. If you do try to use this method to blow things up, we are not liable for lips caught in zippers and we are definitely not speaking from experience on that one. Lastly, the runoff packing cubes. So do you need waterproof packing cubes? Night Eyes thinks that you do. Plus we think these would make a really good addition to the specialist section in our packing cubes guide. Both the medium and the large size here have that six millimeter zipper going on. And it's a little bit hard to pull from that initial seal. So when it's sealed at the end, it's a little bit hard to pull. And it is a bit hard to get around that corner. But the benefit here is that these true zip zippers don't have any teeth in them, which is great for clothing. So I've personally zipped my fair share of Patagonia ultralight jackets into zipper teeth and kind of had them a little bit chewed up on a couple of different occasions. So definitely excited to test this out a little bit more with clothing. It's a little bit safer and you're not gonna get that zipper bite that you would get with ordinary packing cubes. So that's a nice touch. Even when the cubes are filled up quite a bit, these higher volumes allow more air to be inside. So we just found that these things just really float. You could kind of just send them down a river and I think they'd be totally fine. The nylon handle at the end makes everything a little bit easier for quick grabs as well. And we like that they've included it. The clear window, again, just allows you to see everything that's going on inside as well. Similar to the DOP kit, these tabs here act well as zipper pulls or carabiner attachment points. We're excited to keep testing this and time will tell how the newer TrueZip technology holds up over time. Make sure to let us know which one of these is your favorite and which one you'd wanna use most and we'll be sure to put that up for full review here on the channel. Also let us know what you think of this series in the comments below. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.